Loch Ness Monster. This image, forever etched in popular memory, depicts a long neck with a small head breaking the surface of a calm Loch Ness. The black and white photo is quite grainy, leaving much to the imagination. In 1934, a London surgeon named Robert Kenneth Wilson came forward with this photograph, claiming to have captured Nessie on a holiday trip to Scotland. The Daily Mail published the photo with the now iconic headline, Monster of Loch Ness Photographed. Wilson claimed he snapped the picture from the shore using a long lens camera. The myth of the Loch Ness Monster gained immense traction due to this photo. However, years later, on his deathbed, Wilson confessed the whole thing was a hoax. He, along with an accomplice, fabricated the image using a toy submarine with a head and neck fashioned from wood and putty. Patterson Gimlin film. This shaky 16mm film footage, lasting around 59 seconds, shows a large, hairy bipedal creature walking along a path in the Bluff Creek area of California. The creature appears to be partially obscured by trees as it walks upright, leaving footprints in the muddy ground. Roger Patterson, a rodeo cameraman, and Bob Gimlin, a lumberjack, were on horseback along Bluff Creek when they allegedly stumbled upon the creature. Patterson quickly grabbed his camera and filmed the now famous footage. The Patterson-Gimlin film is one of the most debated pieces of cryptid evidence. Proponents believe it undeniably captures a Bigfoot. Skeptics argue the figure's gait is too human-like and suggest it's a man in a gorilla suit. Analysis of the film remains inconclusive. Surrey photo. This black and white photo, taken in Surrey, England, shows a large dog-like creature with a long, sinuous tail. The creature's body appears vaguely canine, but its elongated tail and hunched posture add an air of mystery. The photo was taken by Reverend Richard Nixon, no relation to the former US president, who claimed he snapped it while walking his dog. Nixon said the creature ran across his path and disappeared into the woods. Many believe the Surrey photo is simply a mundane animal, most likely a dog or an otter, captured at an angle that exaggerates its tail length. The grainy quality and lack of clear detail make definitive identification difficult. Montauk Monster The Montauk Monster photo depicts a strange, hairless, elongated carcass splayed out on a beach. The creature's skin appears greyish-white and leathery, with a long, pointed snout and what seems to be a missing eye. Its overall form is vaguely canine or rodent-like, but lacks any fur or other distinguishing features. The photo first surfaced online in 2008, with no clear origin story. Initial reports claimed it was taken at a beach in Montauk, New York, by a group of teenagers. However, details about who took the photo and the exact location remained murky. The image quickly spread across the internet, sparking debate and speculation about its authenticity and origins. Marine biologists who examined the photo were quick to dismiss the Montauk monster hoax or a misidentified carcass. The most likely explanation is that it's the decaying body of a raccoon or dog, possibly suffering from mange or another skin condition that caused hair loss. The stretched and distorted appearance could be due to bloating and decomposition in the water. Yeti The Yeti footprint photograph, taken by Eric Shipton in 1951, is one of the most iconic images associated with the elusive cryptid known as the Yeti or the Abominable Snowman. Shipton, a British mountaineer, captured the photograph during the course of the British Mount Everest reconnaissance expedition. The photograph shows a large, human-like footprint embedded in the snow, with a distinct shape and size that suggested it belonged to a creature much larger than a human. Shipton and his team discovered the footprint while scouting a route on the Menlung Glacier near the base of Mount Everest in the Himalayas. The image sparked widespread interest and speculation about the existence of the Yeti, a legendary ape-like creature said to inhabit the remote regions of the Himalayas. Many believed that Shipton's photograph provided compelling evidence of the Yeti's existence, as it appeared to support the numerous eyewitness reports and local folklore surrounding the creature. However, skeptics questioned the authenticity of the footprint, 
suggesting alternative explanations such as natural geological formations or human tracks distorted by melting snow and ice. Some even proposed that Shipton may have fabricated the footprint to garner publicity for the expedition. Despite the skepticism, subsequent expeditions to the Himalayas have uncovered additional evidence, including more purported Yeti footprints, hair samples, and eyewitness sightings. However, conclusive scientific proof of the Yeti's existence remains elusive, and the legend of the abominable snowman continues to captivate the imaginations of adventurers, researchers, and cryptozoologists around the world. Oga Pogo. The photograph taken in 1968, often associated with Oga Pogo, purportedly captures a mysterious creature swimming in the waters of Lake Okanagan in British Columbia, Canada. The lake is famous for alleged sightings of Oga Pogo, a creature similar to the Loch Ness Monster said to inhabit its depths. While driving on Highway 97 in 1968, Art Folden noticed something moving in the lake. He pulled off the road and filmed what he claimed to be footage of the alleged creature, showing a large wake moving across the water. Folden's photograph added to the lore surrounding Ogopogo and sparked renewed interest in the lake monster legend. However, like many cryptid photographs, it has faced scrutiny and skepticism from various quarters. Critics of the photograph argue that the image quality is poor, making it difficult to discern any details about the supposed creature. Furthermore, they suggest that the object in the photo could be a log, a wave, or another natural phenomenon distorted by the water's surface. Skunk Ape The Skunk Ape photo taken in 2000 is one of the more recent and intriguing pieces of evidence associated with the cryptid known as the Skunk Ape a purportedly large, ape-like creature reported to inhabit the swamps and forests of Florida, particularly in the Everglades region. The photograph was captured by Dave Sheely, a wildlife photographer and owner of the Skunk Ape Research Headquarters in Ochopee, Florida. Sheely claimed to have taken the photo while conducting research and monitoring wildlife in the Big Cypress National Preserve. The image depicts a dark bipedal figure partially obscured by foliage, appearing to walk through the dense vegetation of the swamp. The creature's large size and shape resemble descriptions of the skunk ape provided by eyewitnesses over the years. Critics of the photograph pointed out its low resolution and lack of clear detail, making it difficult to definitively identify the creature depicted. Additionally, skeptics raised questions about Shaley's credibility and potential motives, suggesting that he may have staged the photo to attract publicity or tourism to his research facility. The Tombstone Thunderbird This photograph is a fascinating piece of cryptozoological lore that purportedly captures a massive bird-like creature. The photograph gained notoriety after it was discovered in the archives of the Historical Society in Tombstone, Arizona, hence its name. The creature depicted in the photograph resembles a gigantic bird with a long neck, large wingspan, and a distinctive hooked beak. Its size dwarfs the humans standing nearby, suggesting an immense and potentially otherworldly creature. The origins of the photograph are shrouded in mystery, with various accounts and theories attempting to explain its existence. Some believe the photo is authentic, and represents evidence of a previously unknown species of bird, or even a surviving prehistoric creature, such as a pterosaur. Skeptics suggest that the creature could be a constructed prop, or a manipulated image intended to deceive viewers. Fresno Nightcrawler The Fresno Nightcrawler photograph is one of the most intriguing and enigmatic pieces of evidence in the realm of cryptids. The Fresno Nightcrawler, also known as the Fresno Alien, or the Fresno stick figure, is a creature reportedly sighted in Fresno, California in 2007. The photograph in question depicts two slender white figures with long thin legs and no discernible arms walking across the lawn of a private residence at night. The creatures appear to be ethereal and ghost-like with a surreal and otherworldly quality. The origins of the photograph are somewhat mysterious the image first gained public attention after being uploaded to the internet by the homeowners who claimed to have captured the strange creatures on their security camera footage. 
The Fresno Nightcrawler photograph quickly went viral, sparking intense speculation and debate among enthusiasts of the unexplained. Some viewed the image as evidence of extraterrestrial visitors or interdimensional beings, while others suggested more prosaic explanations, such as misidentified animals or a clever hoax. The Jersey Devil Chilling image purportedly taken by David Black in 2007 in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, a region known for its association with the legendary Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil is a cryptid said to inhabit the Pine Barrens, described as a winged creature with hooves and a terrifying appearance. I was just driving past the golf course in Galloway on Route 9 and had to shake my head a few times when I thought I saw a llama, Mr. Black said. If that wasn't enough, then it spread out leathery wings and flew off over the golf course. Black said he took a few photos of the creature, but alas, the best one still came out blurry. Mr. Black swears the image is not photoshopped or staged in any way. The image sparked widespread interest and speculation within the cryptozoological community and among enthusiasts of the unexplained. Many viewed it as compelling evidence of the existence of the Jersey Devil, while others remained skeptical, suggesting that the photograph could be a hoax or a misidentified animal 